This is not the man I met. He is egotistical. He disrespects me. This entire marriage has been forced upon me. When you don't have trust, when you don't have that foundation, the relationship is over before it starts. I'm at my breaking point. He has a problem with spending. You have champagne taste on a soda water budget. Yes, What's honey, going on? come on, champagne taste. <laughs> it's about the taste, not about the budget. You can't trust him anymore. The man that I married would never have done that. I'm not going to advise her to try to make this work because I think it's dangerous. I think it's gone beyond that. Here is today's case. She says she wasn't a priority in her marriage, so she left. During their separation, he made numerous attempts at reconciliation to fix their issues, but she says he's lying about his current relationship status. Can he save this marriage? That's today's case on Divorce Court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, our virtual audience is filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Danita from Alexandria, Virginia. Danita, welcome to Divorce Court. We're so happy to have you with us. Enjoy. Your Honor, this is the case of Lester versus Lester. Thank you, Juan. Miss Marlena Lester. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought your husband, Mr. Ronald Lester. Yes, Your Honor. To Divorce Court today for a second time. Yes, ma'am. The yes, two of you have been here before. I know it's not something people like to hear, but welcome back. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You were here seven years ago. Yeah. You had a lot of problems, a lot of issues in your marriage. You tried to work it out, and you said you just can't. And it's time for really and truly for you to go your separate ways, according to you. But Mr. Lester, you have a difference of opinion. Yeah, I really don't. Even believe... seven years later. That's right. Yes. You... So I'll hear from you, Miss Lester. Give me some background as to why you ended <sighs> up back here again. I've been with him since I was 18, off and on. We've been through a lot, a lot. So it's kind of like a habit with the situation. So when I first came to divorce court. Um, the first show around, it was more so, you know, the out of the relationship. It was just like, wow, you know, he's not gonna change. He's still with the same type of male chauvinist type issues. Why have you brought this case today? Because it's still like, like an attachment. Even though we're separated, he's in Texas, I'm in Milwaukee. It's still an attachment. He still act like he wants to be together and I'm looking at situations that still occurring while we're not apart, like he's lying about women again. He's still dealing with different women that I've known about, their exes, or like a, a few she done posted on his social media. But you're me as so a wife... you've seen those things. Yeah, me as a wife, I was blocked from his social media. You're an Okay, Mr. Have, Lester? I, you know, she's my wife. You know, um, you know I, I'm here to save our relationship. Mm. You know, and... Um, I just believe it's cheaper to keep her, you know, and like I say, it's against, I, I'm totally against divorce. And so I made the decision to marry her and I want it to be what it is, you know, but, but if you're not gonna stay with me, then I believe that um, you should totally let me go and allow me to have a life. You know, if you're gonna, if we're gonna make it happen, we gotta make it happen. If we're not, you know, um, the past is the past. Mm -hmm. Hey, how this future gonna go? Because after you appeared in divorce court the first yeah. time. A yeah. month later, she left. Yeah. And when you left, you said you changed your life in a major way. What happened? Um, well, first, I was 350 pounds when I first came on the mm. show, and I lost a lot of weight. How much did you lose? Uh, I said over 50% of my f body fat. Wow. So, yeah, I lost a lot. That's amazing. Thank you. Because how do, how feel... do you say your weight loss, though, affected your relationship? Um, once I split apart and moved out, I was getting stalked. He was showing up at work, at my I job. Hear. I was bartending. Certain nights I get off at 3 in the morning, I come home, um, I see his car passing down the street, and I come like, why are you driving past my house at 3, 4 in the morning? Mm -hmm. So then he told me, basically, like, he can't be around me or stay in this city watching me being single, so he moved to Texas. Mm. Now, he told me he was moving to Texas with a family, with family. He, he went down there with no cell phone in a half car that was not gonna pretty much make it, because it didn't. I'm like, okay, I didn't hear from him from days. So I called his sister, I'm like, um, you know, have you heard from him? Is he okay, did he make it? She said, oh yeah, I talked to his, um, his other girl, I mean, you know, his friend, and she said he made it, he made it to her safe. Yeah. And this is an ex-girl that I know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm like, wow, yeah. lie number one. Wow. 
Okay, is that what happened, Mr. Lester? The thing was, just like she said, you know, when, you, when I go in and I check in on her, I'm stalking her. You know, but the thing is, you know, um, she still had the key to my house. All she had to do was come by, and she don't have to knock on the door. She just comes in with the key. Mm, I can't okay. say, hey, I can't have a relationship because my wife might come to her. She's not stalking me. Mm. I just didn't have re any women coming around. Okay. So I would assume she would live the same way, right? No. She's all, then lost weight now, sexy, bartending, you know, really having her life. And, yeah, when I hear that how pretty she's looking, yeah, I'm going to come around and I'm going to look <laughs> and I'm going to be interested. And, but he and, wasn't and, that interesting when you had me. Your Honor, you know, um, I really, truly was. He wasn't even time. motivating Your Honor, I really, truly I was. was. But, you know, um, all I can do is be the man that I am. So it was too much for you to handle seeing her... Yes. Level up yes. in her Pretty life much. and you had yes. to leave town. Yeah. Right. So now you, you find out, though, that he does go to Texas mm -hmm. and you have a conversation with him. You find out that it's true. Mm -hmm. And the two of you cool right. it off for a while. Right. right. We co-parent well. He's a great man. I would not take his parenting away from him. Good. He's my best friend still. But what do you say is going on? Because Mr. Lester is saying that you say he's your best friend. He says you're his wife. That's right. So, what has happened in the last few years? Because Mr. Lester has said this is the relationship that he wants to have with you. He I wants don't you to be his wife. How, when he has this female roommate that's leaving comments and stuff on his social media, oh, I miss you, sending love, bay, all the boo, you know, that's the young lady, that's his roommate, he say. Roommate? Yeah. And this is posted on your page, sir? That's not the only one. Just because you my heart, heart eye emojis. Is this your roommate? Yes. Okay. Yes, Your Honor, that is my roommate. For four years that you had a roommate. Um, she's been posting on this social media for the last few years. Which, like I said, I was blocked. When I shared us as a married couple, he blocked me and took me off his social media. Really? I could never post on his page. But he well, got this new why'd you chick block her? posting on his page. What? But now he want to be my friend on social media and sending me... Why? You want... When I was your wife, you didn't want to do well, that, sir. You know, she Mr. can bring up... Your I was a fat girl. He ain't looking that girl. Your Honor, social media. She can, wow. your Honor, she can bring up all the relationships and the things about, you know, me. But... At the end of the day, she's my wife. Why did you block her on your social media? Because I was tired of reading the comments that she was getting. <laughs> Looking at the amount of friends and the comments that her guys got, you know, I... I... It you wasn't nothing you didn't disrespectful or no yes, one trying was, to talk was, to me. It was, it was, it was. What it was, is this evidence of? That's the young lady. That's his roommate, he say. Roommate? Yeah. And this is posted on your page, sir? It's more. That's not the only one. Just because you my heart, heart eye emojis. Is this your roommate? Yes. Okay. Yes, Your Honor, that is my roommate. For four years that you had a roommate, your roommates posting <laughs> selfies on your on your wall on social media with heart eye emojis. I don't be on social media. Well, it's on your page. <laughs> yes and or he no? He just said lie to you because he said he well, sees stuff Honor, on my page. You know, is this your roommate or your woman, sir? Throughout this is time my you to tell the truth. This is my roommate. Okay. Let, what other evidence do you have? Being that I seen that this is not our first go around with him lying about a woman. Okay. He introduced this girl to me as his cousin. And she, they used to come pick me up from work and all this, and we'd be hanging together, come to find out they were not cousins. They were dating, and he moved in with her after I found out. And they were picking you up from work? Together in her car, his car, they was coming and all this. So I'm supposed to believe this is his roommate now? Mr. Lester, you were, you were picking up your wife from work with another woman in the We world? wasn't married at the time, though. We were dating you still. You were dating? Yeah. Well, that was a sign of the times. Did you, did you <laughs> not find that out before I mean, we you went got married? years on... Do that, but that is the past. I, but you're still I, doing I it. I am still being held guilty for the things that happened in the past. That is a long time ago. To be exactly, fair. exactly. But you're saying because... you've evolved and you've changed. Right. You would but... never do anything like that now. Well, you know, no, I wouldn't. You're here today to speak yes, the truth. Yes, I'm here today to speak, to speak truth. the truth. And the okay. truth is, I would like to keep my wife. I do have my roommate here to prove that there's really nothing going on. Have you ever met this woman before? What's the nature of your relationship? The two of you live together. Do you sleep in the same bed? Um... You've slept with Mr. Lester?
If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. So what are you gonna do with you? What are you gonna do with your roommate if Miss Lester says okay to staying in this marriage? Well, it's just a roommate. Okay. So um, I do have my roommate here to prove that there's really nothing going on. You have your roommate here. Oh, what's yes. her name? Her name is Shatara. The four-year roommate. Yes. Is here in court today yes. to testify. Yes. Juan, would you please bring in the witness, yes, Mr. Lester's BFF? <laughs> have you ever met this woman before? He tried to introduce me to her yesterday, mm -hmm. and I walked off. Mm. I'm not. It's nothing against her or nothing. How are you? Good, and you? Good. You are Miss Chatara Wilson? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for being here, ma'am. I, I appreciate you coming. I just want to understand, how do you know Mr. Lester? Um, I met him through this dating site, and then we became friends. <laughs> <laughs> so you met him on a dating site? Yes. And the two of you became friends? Yes. But you live together now? Yes. What's the nature of your relationship? Uh, just friends. You're just friends? Yes. Okay. Don't don't whisper to her, Mr. Lester. Mm -hmm. She don't need you giving her any <laughs> advice okay. or counsel. She's an adult. I just want to hear the truth. You know, this is the second time the Lesters have been in I this courtroom it. before. And I want this to be the final time. Because yes. the, today is the day we're going to resolve some of the core issues the two of them have been having in their marriage, Miss mm -hmm. Wilson. Yes. Now, I saw the, the evidence submitted in court today. Why don't we pull up the post? that Ms. Wilson posted on Mr. Lester's page. And you can just explain this to me as, as the roommate. So, what do you mean when you write on Mr. Lester's page, you are my heart, and you put heart-eye emojis? Well, <laughs> we don't take the emojis serious, but <laughs> it's just something to write. It was cute. It was cute? Yes. So, you you're, calling him, you're calling him your heart? Yes, Why? Well, I'm not necessarily calling him my heart. Mm -hmm. It was just... This is my friend. Everybody know he's my friend. Okay. So, you'd be happy for him if he were to reconcile with his wife and leave court today with Mrs. Lester? But all I want to know is what he gonna do anyway. Because I ain't got time to play with you. Oh, okay. So, what are we playing about? I don't know if he want you want to be in this relationship or you want to be in that relationship. Mm -hmm. What you want to do? So, so there's you're more than friends? Yes. You slept with Mr. Lester? <laughs> yes. Okay. More than one occasion? Yes. The two of you live together. Do you sleep in the same bed? No. But you have an intimate relationship? Yes. You find yourself in a precarious situation. How old are you? 29. 29 years old. Yes. And Mr. Lester's, uh, what, 54? Yes. All right. So, Ms. Wilson, you're living with a man who you're sleeping with, who is here in court today now saying that he is trying to repair his relationship with his wife. I just want you to be clear mm -hmm. on the facts. Mm -hmm. This isn't a choice that Mr. Lester should be making at this point. This is a choice that you should be making. Yeah. When a man is standing in front of you saying that he wants to reconcile with his wife. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> you understand, Ms. Wilson? Yes. I'm not here to try to put you on the spot or try oh, to no, put your feelings. But I'm gonna tell but you But I already something. knew this is what was, could have happened well, or was gonna right. lead up to it or whatever. Listen, the, the lies... They can help cover up some things, and the truth may hurt, but there's only one that sets you free. And I just want you to know the truth today. Okay, mm -hmm. ma'am? You seem like a lovely young lady. Yes. I think you should go and get you a real boyfriend. Oh, I know. And, and, and somebody it's, it's, you can I have a real right relationship now. With. It's just when that time comes, I'll have it. Okay, thank you. Why, why don't you have a seat? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to hurt their relationship, because I don't want to get back with them. It just really spilled out the truth again. You know what I mean? He was trying to introduce me to somebody he's been having sex with. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it wasn't nothing against her yesterday. When I walked out, she was sitting out there. I looked. I said, yeah, that's the girl from the Facebook. And I turned immediately around. Walked. He said, hey, come here. No, y'all enjoy y'all day. So, Your Honor, she's not bringing up the time when I was in Milwaukee <laughs> and I came to visit you and a guy Within knocked on the door. Mr. Lester, she doesn't care. Within these last four years, you Mr. were still Mr. living Mr. with da dating her. Mr. Lester. Here's the problem. You came into court today and you told me, I asked you numerous times yes. about your living situation yes. and you said you had a roommate. Yes. Numerous times. I didn't believe you when you said it, mm -hmm. yeah. but I knew when Miss Wilson came out, I'd be able to get to the truth. Yes. So, you're still... You still haven't changed. Nothing's changed. 
everything old is new again. We just here in court today for the second time with new lies. Well, I have one. Your Honor, I had one friend. You're looking at her. Ask her how many friends she had. Again, I, I will I tell, tell you, it's not relevant. She's moved on. You know, it's so interesting because Ms. Lester has said several times th that she is done with this relationship and you're still trying to give her conditions as if she's trying to get back together with you. But when you have someone, Ms. Wilson, as mm -hmm. you've sat and listened to this testimony today, who can stand in court, look me in my eye, and look me in my eyes and lie with such ease, you really have to ask yourself, what else mm -hmm. are they lying about? Well, you're what else are they not being truthful about? In terms of the dissolution of the marriage I find in your favor. Okay. You've established sufficient grounds. It's, it's not up for debate. The only issue think... that came up in this courtroom is Mr. Lester saying through his words he wanted to stay in the marriage, but through his actions, he's shown otherwise. And I know he said through your actions, you've shown otherwise, but it's also what she says. I just feel like he think I'm still the little girl. He met back when I was 18. I was 18, he was 29. If you look at the situation, it's a rekindling, like you said, a rekindling thing. He met him another little young mm -hmm. girl that he can manipulate <laughs> and do what he want to do on, and make her do and say what he wanted to say. So not then I know it's going to be a lie. So, like I said, I don't, I'm not, I didn't want to hurt their relationship, even though, you know, what, what, the truth is the truth. I just wanted him to know that I'm tired. I'm over it. I'm, I love you. You're my best friend. You're a great father. You're just not a great husband for me. Mm. And that is the bottom line, Mr. Lester. Your Honor, you know, I think this is just a one-way street. You know, she's only looking at it to what she wants out of the relationship. Being a man, you know, you try to be the perfect piece for every woman, and it's just, it's just, it's just not fair. Life is not fair, but I'm gonna tell you something. You've gotten yourself into all of these situations that's been described in court today. You well, have only yourself to thank for it. Well, Your Honor, you know, um, I don't think it's the woman's decision to just give up on a relationship, on, on a marriage. You no, know, this is this is not a friendship. You know, we're good friends. No, this is not a friendship. This is a marriage. This is a partnership. Right, this you got to hold just Lester. Be able to make a decision to say I'm done. You can't just throw your hands up in life like How that. How do you say that when you have someone wow. you've been living with? Only you a woman. Her over there hurt Only as a well. woman feel like they can just throw their hands up in a relationship. Mr. Lester. Do you see a man sitting over here with me? No. Mrs. Lester, you, set, you, you stand there and you say this and you have all these tears coming out of your eyes and you have another woman sitting that you're living with for four years sitting six feet away from you. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. That you lied about. What That's are you lying life. about? Because you're being held accountable? That's what happens in life. There's accountability. Mm -hmm. No, it's just and, and the last time I checked, it was 2021, Mr. Lester. Well, Women can make decisions for themselves. Well, Honor, it's just and she's made her decision. For his wife. She's made her decision, sir. Good luck to both of you. Thank you. Ms. Wilson, I hope you take the advice you heard in court today, ma'am. Oh, baby, yes. Oh, this is just friendship. Oh, it pretty much was like a relief, and I already knew pretty much, like, they were not just roommates from the screenshots or whatever, so it was basically like my confirmation. I'm ready to go foul for the divorce. I really don't think that's fair. I think that um, I don't. all the decisions is up for her to make like that. You know, when you got a life and an agreement, a marriage, I think you should stick to that. You know, if everybody running around, oh, I don't want to be married anymore, you won't have marriage. Yeah, just yeah. like me and my roommate, we got an agreement. Still a little iffy about the situation. It's like, OK, that's staying in for right now, but then what are you finna do now? I ain't got no answers right now. 